Good evening. It is hump day, March 31st, 2021. You are here for the Around the Water Cooler program. My Monday, Wednesday, and Friday evening where we discuss things of a personnel nature in sports. So I have one thing that got under my craw and um Introduced on Monday, Mike Woodson is going to be the new basketball coach at Indiana. It's a storied program. It's probably one of the 25 best jobs in America. In America. He did not interview anyone else. I don't like this hire at all. He has never coached at the collegiate level. He coached for nine seasons as a head coach in the NBA. And he had a sub-500 record. Now, I know the Knicks and the Atlanta Hawks at the time did resemble, especially after he coached them, did resemble something less than an NBA team. But I'm not sure that's what Indiana had in mind. I think they were trying to actually win with the next coach. Um, this, I don't think, does that. I think he'll tread water. Not sure it's going to energize the fan base. I don't think it's going to do much of anything. Here's my take on what they should have done. Okay. Indiana resembles a mid-major in the fact in the idea that you've got to rebuild it. Okay. And it's not one of these plum areas. It's not an urban school. It's not a it's not down south. I mean, it's in the winter. It's a winter sport, and you're in the north. Okay? It's not that warm there. Not going to get your blue. You're not going to get your five, four, and five star recruits there. I don't care who the coach is. So that coach better have the ability to draw on a program, having done it before, and turned a program around, perhaps, like a mid major. So there's a few people I would have at least interviewed instead of just handing it to sub 500 Mike. Um, Chris Beard. He's being looked at by Texas now because Shaka Smart went to Marquette because Texas wasn't, you know, of his liking, I guess. So Texas is taking a look at at, at Chris Beard of Texas Tech. Um, that's a damn good coach. He's taken a program that was a football-only school, and he's turned it into a pretty solid basketball team, basketball program that's been to a final game, let alone a Final Four. They... You know, they would have been good to, to maybe look at him. Or how about Tony Bennett from Virginia, who is in a mid-tier kind of market, middle of nowhere in the middle of Virginia, in the ACC. He could have a plum job. He turned Virginia from a, from a nothing to a national power, and, an, and he, he got a natty. So... It's two guys have been in the Natty Championship game. One of them won. The other, the other was, you know, came up just a bit short. They both turned programs around and made them relevant. That would be very helpful in Indiana, don't you think? But we don't interview them at all. And then there's other guys like, you know, the guy that runs Oral Roberts or Loyola of Chicago. Um or any of a number of mid-major programs that have very talented coaches. But they took Mike Woodson. Indiana, your boosters should be very pissed off right now. One of the worst hires in the history of college basketball, in my opinion. It's just sad. That's my take. Please like, comment, subscribe, and the whole nine. Um, sharing is caring, so get it, get it out there, get it on blast, and I will holler at you.